Hey everybody, this is Nathan Ryan now here for the second seven of my birthday, of my birthday special for Matthew V2168, in which today, this time we're going to be doing a game of Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii. And I got a special guest with me joining me along for this, and that is Mark Leota. So let's see if we can win Matthew a lot of money here. Is Jeopardy. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Hey, Johnny, thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to work in the Jeopardy. Yeah, rest in peace. Clues are worth two hundred to one thousand dollars in these categories. TV shows that bombed. Ooh, TV shows that bombed. I want to be playwrights. Playwrights. Ain't we got pun? <laughs> Ain't we got math. pun? Math. And historic, and historic Munich. Munich. Alright, uh, where do you want to start here? As we continue right now. You can point the Wii remote at the yes, screen and press the A button to select a clue. Alright. TV shows that bond a thousand. The nuclear blast that caused chaos in Jericho, Kansas was detonated in this state capital to the west. Yes, player one. Use the Wii remote or press... The nuclear the blast that caused chaos in Jericho, Kansas was detonated, detonated in this state capital to the west. Hmm. I'm going to say Denver. Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Got, got at the last second. Player one, back to you. All right, TV shows that bombed uh, for 200. In the 2007 episode of this series, a terrorist detonated a low-yield suitcase nuke in Valencia, California. Player one. In a 2007 episode of this series, a terrorist detonated a low-yield a low-yield suitcase nuke in Valencia, California. I'm gonna guess and say what is. 24. That's it. Okay, apparently that was right. Player one, you pick again, please. Uh, I'm actually gonna go go for uh, math for 400. 73 minus 14. Oh, that's easy. 73 minus 14. What is 59? Right. You again, player one. Uh, math for a thousand. 23 plus 8 minus 16. 23 plus 8 minus 16. What is 15? Let's hear it, player 1. Yes. Select again. What is 69? No. <laughs> oh, if only that was one of the answers. All right, 600 for math. 148 divided by 4. 148 divided by 4. Let me think here. I believe it's uh, 37. Right. Yep. Choose again, player one. Math for 200. 66 plus 32. Six, 66 plus 32, what is uh, 98? Okay, player one. <laughs> that is correct. Up to $3,400 already. And, player one. and then math for 800. 17 times 6. 17 times 6. Let's hear it, player one. That would be 102. Oh, you're right. I ran that category. Player one, pick again. Uh, TV shows that bond for six hundred. This series, Peter Petrelli had visions that he would cause a nuclear holocaust in New York City. The series, Peter Petrelli had visions that he would cause a nuclear holocaust in New York City. It's player three. Burn notice? No. Any other takers? Well, we got a fifty-fifty shot now. Yes, player one. It's either heroes or human target. Uh, I'm going to guess what is heroes. Yeah, right. All right, I'm getting lucky with the guesses today. Please pick again, player one. Tudor says the Bond 800. In a 1977 episode of this sitcom, Detective Diedrich notes that a student's physics project is a functional nuke. In a 1977 episode of this sitcom, Detective Diedrich notes that a, a student's Physics product is a functional nuke. Uh, 
I think it is Barney Miller. What is Barney Miller? Yeah. That's correct. Yep. Player one, back to you for our next. And then finally, 400 for that category. On this clue. In an episode of this classic 60s series, bookworm Henry Bemis survives a nuclear war and finds a library, but then breaks his glasses. Yes, player one. In an episode of this classic 60s series, bookworm Henry Bemis survives a nuclear war and finds a library, but then breaks his glasses. Uh, kind of sounds like the Twilight Zone. All right, I've ran two categories now. You again, player one. Hmm. Which one should we go with now? We still got I Want to Be, Player Rights, and we got Ponder Historic Munich. Still here, Mark? Okay, I was just making sure you were still uh, still with me here. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Here. All right. Um, I'll go with, uh, and we got pun for 200. A scholarly paper on punning restaurant names was titled, Do Drop In and This Vegetable Entertain You. Scholarly paper on running restaurant names was titled, Do Drop In and This Vegetable Entertain You. Uh, lettuce. Here's uh, I didn't get it in time. Lettuce. You were correct, though. We return to you, player one. And we got pun for 400. The presidential exhibit at the National Postal Museum was called This to the Chief. Okay, player one. Presidential exhibit at the National Postal Museum was called This to the Chief. Uh, I'm going to say what is mail because the whole postal museum thing. Yes. Yeah, it made mail sense. Made sense to me. Select again. And we got pun for 600. About comparing a pair of beetles, a punchline in Master and Commander is choose the lesser of two these. Let's hear Weevils. it, player one. Two weevils? Weevils. All right. Yeah. Right you are. You get to pick again, player one. All right, and we got pun 800. Eight months pregnant, Jolie Fisher did a cabaret act entitled From Here to This. It's player one. Uh, what is uh, maternity? Yes. All right. Please pick again. And we got pun a thousand. Punning on Glenn Miller, a 1985 film with Gina Davis as a vampire was called This Six Five Thousand. Let's hear it, player one. Punning on Glenn Miller, a 1985 film with Gina Davis as a vampire, was called This 65000. Uh, well, I see Transylvania is one of the answers, so I'll try that. That is correct. Sometimes it definitely is helpful to look for a little uh, context clues in there. Um, let's see. I'll go with uh, I Wanna Be for 600. One of these. And deal with the health problems of vicunas, pintos, and Great Danes. What's a veterinarian? Yes, player one. Woo! That's correct. Player one. I want to be for 400. One of these, from the Greek for star sailor, like John Glenn or Buzz Aldrin. What is an astronaut? It's player one. Woo! That's right, way to go. Player one. 800 for I want to be. Like Martin Luther King and the Dalai Lama, and be honored with this humanitarian prize given in Oslo. Player one. What is the Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize? Yeah. Correct. Player one, back to you for... 200 I want to be. One of these dancers, so I'm practicing my arabesques and pirouettes so I can perform with the Kirov. What's a ballerina? Okay, player one. Good. Player one. 
And I want to be for a thousand. This from the Greek for straight and make some big bucks correcting crooked teeth with braces. Yes, player one. What is an orthodontist? You got it. And I'm already at over eleven thousand dollars and I haven't even gotten a daily double yet. This is going great so far. Um We still got player rights in historic Munich. Hmm. I feel more confident in playwrights. His father, James O'Neill, was a 19th century actor whose most famous role was the Count of Monte Cristo. Player one? His father, James O'Neill, was a 19th century actor whose most famous role was the Count of Monte Cristo. Who is... Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, what happened? Not enough, nothing. It's just give your response. All right. I'm gonna guess and say who is Eugene O'Neill. You are correct. All right, thank goodness. I was we gonna say his role was Gump Bong Gump. Ah ah ah. <laughs> yep. Um, playwrights for four. Public disgust over his play Ghosts caused this Norwegian to retaliate in his An Enemy of the People. Okay, player one. Public disgust over his play Ghost caused this Norwegian to retaliate in his An Enemy of the People. Um, who is Hans Christian Andersen? Oh. No, first clue I missed. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? But at least it was a good streak going for a while. Here's the correct response. Henrik Ibsen. Henrik Ibsen. That would have been my next guess. Player one. Pick again. Player rights for six. Ooh, it's the Daily Double. Woo. It's the Daily Double. And I've got a massive lead right now. You're in the lead now. How much? I'll go with... 5,400. Answer. This Pulitzer Prize winning playwright was related to John Sevier, the first governor of the volunteer state. This Pulitzer Prize winning playwright was related to John Sevier, the first governor of the volunteer state. Well, the volunteer state is Tennessee, and I do see Tennessee Williams is here, so I'll go with that. Let's see if that works. That puts you All right, I'm up to $17,000 now. You get to pick again, player one. Could have gone all in, but oh well. All right, 800 for playwrights. This Shakespeare contemporary is remembered for Dr. Faustus and for getting stabbed to death. Let's hear it, player one. The Shakespeare contemporary is remembered for Dr. Faustus and for getting stabbed to death. Um, who is Christopher Marlowe? All right. Player one. Playwrights for a thousand. A 1934 New York City taxi driver's strike led him to write Waiting for Lefty, the first of his plays to be produced. It's player one. A 1934 New York City taxi driver's strike led him to write Waiting for Lefty, the first of his plays to be produced. Um, who is Cl Clifford Odets? Good for you. Up to 18.8k. Choose again, player one. All right, just one more category to go. Historic Munich for a thousand. In the 16th century, Munich was a center of the German phase of this movement against Protestantism. Let's hear it, player one. In the 16th century, Munich was a center of the German phase of this movement against Pro Protestantism. Um, what is the Great Schism? Sorry. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? But still, holding on to a big lead. Here's the response we were looking for. The Counter-Reformation. Counter-Reformation is what we needed there. Select again. 
800 from Munich. The Summer Olympics in Munich in this year were sadly marred by terrorism and tragedy. I think I read about this. What is 1972? <laughs> yep. Player one. Back 600 from Munich. And 1635, this deadly contagion devastated Munich, killing more than one third of its residents. Player one. In 1634 and 1635, this deadly contagion devastated Munich, killing more than one third of its residents. What is bubonic plague? That's correct. Please pick four hundred from Munich. Munich's motto used to be "Die Weltstadt mit Herz," the world city with this. Yes, player one. Munich's motto used to be uh, "Die Weltstadt mit Herz." The world city with this, and I know I completely butch butchered that. I apologize. Um, what is money? No. Any other takers? Maybe it's heart. The correct response is heart. Yep, it was heart. And we'll wrap up the board with... And finally, 200, the $200 the next clue. Coat of arms, you'll find one of these religious figures who originally settled the city and gave it its name. On uh, Munich's coat of arms, you'll find one of these religious figures who settled the city and gave it its name. Okay, player one. What is a monk? All right. So at the end of the Jeopardy run, I got an even $19,000. Katie has nothing, and Sam was going first in double Jeopardy because he's got negative 600. So yeah, needless to say, this game is going great right now. Sports Illustrated Magic Numbers. Sports Illustrated Magic Numbers. The Elements. Politicians. Politicians. USA. USA. Debriefing. Debriefing. Getting quotation marks. Ballet. And ballet. Player three. You're in last. USA place. for four hundred. To select first in double jeopardy. The name of the ukulele means flea in the native language of this state, where it was introduced by the Portuguese. Player one. The name of the ukulele means flea in the native language of this state, or was introduced by the Portuguese. Um, what is Hawaii? Alright, Ma Matthew's going to be proud I got that one. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Uh, hmm, which category do you want to go to? We got Sports Illustrated Imagine Numbers, The Elements, Politicians, USA, Debriefing, and Ballet. Ugh, Politicians, yuck. Yeah, that's my reaction too. Hmm. I guess we'll try debriefing. Let's go for sixteen hundred. To a Londoner, it's a trash can. To a Londoner, it's a trash can. Player one. What is a dustbin? <laughs> All right. Our hot streak continues. We return to you, player one. Um, debriefing for 2,000. Ooh, daily double! Answer, the first of the daily doubles. And you have the lead. Give us a wager, player one. Hmm. I will try... 12,000. And the clue. An alcoholic may suffer from this... From the Greek for mad thirst. An alcoholic may suffer from this from the Greek for mad thirst. Uh, what is dipsomania? You have All right, I'm, I'm up to thirty-three thousand dollars. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Uh, D briefing for four hundred. 
It's the alliterative salutation that traditionally begins each entry of a girl's daily journal. Okay, player one. What is Dear Diary? I mean, what else would you start a journal with? Um, deep breathing for 12. Humorous poetry with irregular rhythm is known by this canine name. Humorous poetry with irregular rhythm is known by this canine name. I have no idea. Yes, player two. Dog girl? Oh, okay. Player two, back to you. And finish off that category. To slobber. Or to bounce a basketball. Oh, I know this because I used to play a basketball. What is dribble? Yes. You get to pick again. All right. Uh, Sports Illustrator magic numbers for 800. Hockey, 92 goals. Hockey, 92 goals. It's player one. Is it, is it uh, Wayne Gretzky? All right, 35K now. Please pick again, player one. 2,000 magic numbers. Football, 63 yards. Football, 63 yards. Jason Elam? Yes, player two. Tom Dempsey? Oh, no, it was Tom Dempsey. Katie got that one. Select again. Dempsey, okay. USA 800. The state nut of Alabama isn't your kooky cousin. It's this thin-shelled pie ingredient. Let's hear it, player. Uh, what is a pecan? Yes. All right. Choose again, player one. Twelve hundred USA. Oh, and there's, and there's the other daily double. Answer, the second daily double. You are currently in the lead. So, what's your wager? All right. Let's say twenty-one thousand two hundred. The clue. Caroling to the animals is a holiday tradition at the Lincoln Park Zoo in this Midwest city. Caroling to the animals is a holiday tradition at the Lincoln Park Zoo in this Midwest city. Uh, what is... Chicago? All right, now I'm up to $57,000. Player one, you pick again, please. I could have a big payday here. Uh, USA for 16. Its state song says, Follow the old Kit Carson trail until desert meets the hills. If I got this question wrong, I, I would have no reason to live because I lived in this state pretty much all my life. What is Nevada? <laughs> yeah, I think you'd have to revoke one. your card if you got that wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. USA for 2,000. Alphabetically. This southern state's counties run from Adams to Yazoo. The southern state's counties run from Adams to Yazoo. Uh, what is Mississippi? Right, you are. All right. Now, now I'm over sixty thousand dollars. Back to you. All right, I'll go back to magic numbers for sixteen. Track and field, twenty-nine feet two and a half inches. Twenty-nine feet two and a half inches track and field. Okay, player one. Who is Jesse Owens? Sorry. Nope, not Jesse Owens. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Let's hear it. Player two. Carl Lewis. Nope. Well, that narrows it down for Samuel. He's, fin he's finally going to get out of the hole. Player three. Bob Beeman. That would have been my last guess. You again, player three. Sport for 400. Baseball, 4,192 hits. 4,192 hits, baseball. Yes, player one. Who is... Is it... Hank Aaron? Oh, no, it's not Hank Aaron. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? My next guess would then be Ty Cobb. It's player two. Pete Rose? Nope. Oh, oh, it is Pete Rose. Okay. 
Player two, back to you for our next selection. 1,200 for Sports Illustrated. 2,131 consecutive games. 2,000 consecutive games. Yes, player one. Cal Ripken Jr. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. No problem. One, you pick again, please. Hmm. Tough choice here. I'm not really a fan, fan of the rest of these categories, but uh, I guess I'll go with the elements for 400. Because sound travels 2.7 times faster in this gas than in air, inhaling it makes your voice higher. What is helium? Let's hear it, player one. Well. Yes. Unironically, I may have to thank SML for, for remembering, Please helping me, me remember that one because of that stupid video he did. All right, uh, elements for 800. Neon, argon, and radon are among these gases formerly called rare or inert. Neon, argon, and radon are among these gases formerly called rare or inert. What are the noble gases? <laughs> All right. 1,200. Superman knows its atomic number is 36. Superman 36, what is Krypton? Okay, player one. Almost picked, almost picked Xenon by accident. Select again. 1600 elements. This very hard metal is named for the children of Uranus and Gia. This very hard metal is named for the children of uh, Uranus and Gia. It's player one. What is titanium? Yeah. Makes sense. You get to pick again. 2,000 Mario elements. Proto and others found this common element had a new molecular form, the fullerene. Okay, player one. Harold Croto and others found this common element had a new molecular form, the fullerene. What is... Carbon? Correct. All right. Player one, pick again. Uh, even though I'm going to hate the, even though I don't like, uh, these people at all, uh, I'll still try my luck at it, uh, politicians for eight. In 2004, Ugh. this North Carolinian was almost the vice president-elect. Probably the worst category. Yeah, I agree. And, and, un and unfortunately, I, even though I, even though I hate this guy, I do, I do know, do know the correct answer for this question, who is John Edwards, the cheating son of a gun? Said, oh, best category ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 1,600 politicians. We hope Silvestri Reyes can keep secrets. In 2007, he became chair of the House Permanent Select Committee on this. Uh, intelligence, maybe? Or no, uh, uh, Homeland Security? What is Homeland Security? No, maybe it was intelligence. Anyone? Don't know why I backed down there, but oh well. Let's hear it. Player two. Ah! Yep. Please pick again. Player two. Ballet for four. Cadets attend a dance at a girls' school in graduation ball. A ballet set in this capital of Austria. Hmm. Capital of Austria. Player one. What is Vienna? Yeah. All right. Started to say Vienna. Choose again. Too. Player one. I may say nay if you do a pas de cheval, a ballet step that imitates this animal. What's a horse? Let's hear it, player one. Woo. That's right, way to go. We return to you, player one. 2,000 ballet. Let's take it over to Kelly. It's the double talk name for this standard ballet skirt. Double talk name for the standard ballet skirt. Yes, player one. What is a tutu? Right. All right. Sixty-eight thousand dollars now. My goodness. One. Back to you. Uh, sixteen hundred ballet. The two thousand ballet Todo Buenos Aires features different interpretations of this sensual ballroom dance. I have no idea.
Here's the correct response. The tango. The tango, okay. Player one, back to you. 1200 Ballet. So he designed sets and costumes for Where the Wild Things Are, a ballet based on his own beloved book. He designed sets and costumes for Where the Wild Things Are, ballet based on his own beloved book. Um, who is, I think, uh, Maurice Sondak? That is yep. Player one. I definitely knew it was not Dr. Seuss. All right. Three clues left to all in politicians. Yuck. Um, 400. This former senator was the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review. Oh, God. It's player one. Who is Barack Obama? Correct. You get to pick again, player one. Politicians for 12. Before he was New York City mayor, he was the U.S. attorney who prosecuted the mafia in the Pizza Connection case. I would assume that's like Rudy Giuliani. Player one. You got it. Yep. And now the 2000. And 2000 for politicians. This former Massachusetts governor was CEO of the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. Yuck, another guy I don't like. Yes, player one. Who is Mitt Romney? You are correct. Looks like you'll all be moving on to final And with Jeopardy. that, I go, in the, I go in the final Jeopardy with $73,000. Here's the final Jeopardy category. Traveling the globe. Categories traveling the globe. What are you going to wait? Hmm. Theoretically, I could easily win up. I could easily win up to like uh, one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars, or maybe even more. But I don't want to really bet that crazily. Um. Let's just say. Forty-two thousand. But no matter what happens, I'm going to win the game with at least uh, thirty-one thousand. Each direction on the plus control pad Big represents major. a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Let's take a look at that final Jeopardy clue right now. Flying due west from Los Angeles, it's the first foreign country you would reach. Okay, flying due west from Los Angeles, it's the first foreign country you would reach. All right, well, that is one of the options. The, the other ones are Indonesia, Russia, and China. So, you think we're good with Japan? Yeah. All right. What did you put as your response? Sam was said China. Sorry, that didn't Nope, it's not China. Your score by... <laughs> he loses all $1,000. What did you say? Katie said Japan. And that's All right, right, it's correct. Add. So we're going to end up with a huge total here. This is amazing. And your response? I also said Japan. And this correct Woo. response will add how much to your score? And I wagered $42,000, so Matthew ends up with a grand total of $115,000. Congratulations, player one. You're the winner. We got it. Nice. <laughs> Wow! Best game of Jeopardy, Jeopardy I've ever played on my channel, man. That was amazing. Nice. Matthew, I'm sure, is going to be very proud of this. Well, anyway, guys, I'm just going to do it here for the second segment of my uh, birthday special for Matthew. Thank you again, Mark, for joining me along with this. And I'll see you guys all for the third and final segment coming up very soon. Take care.